As inflation continues to have an impact all across the country, one Arkansas business is trying to lighten the load on its customers' wallets. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. Our Riley Birdwell went out and spoke with customers and managers at Threefold. Riley, what are they doing to cut down on the prices on our receipts? Well, Donna, they're giving customers 10% off every purchase, even though the general manager says right now the company's not making any profits. Everyone's facing struggling financially difficulty, and so we really just wanted to do our part in the community. One Little Rock business is offering its customers a respite in a place where they might not expect to find relief. That was a nice surprise, and it, it you know, really helps right now with the way things are. By offering 10% off of all purchases. Ever since the pandemic, it's hit many, many industries and restaurants, unfortunately, one of them uh, with the cost of everything from labor to disposables to food and to rent as well, um, just escalating. On Wednesday, guests were lining up at threefold, welcoming the discount. What? And at first, you know, you're thinking there's a catch to it or what do I have to do or something like that. But no, he said, we just want to show our gratitude to our customers. The Bureau of Labor Statistics said food costs have spiked more than 11% in the past year. With increases like that, Rebecca Yan says it wasn't an easy decision. We're pretty much not making any profit as of now. But Threefold wanted to fill their customers' stomachs and hearts. A trend hungry folks like Tanya Jacobs hopes grows. I hope that it catches on with other places. <laughs> It'd be nice to see it in some other restaurants too. Now, this will be going on until further notice, and they're also giving a 15% off for family feast. The general manager says that she hopes that this will just help everyone during this tough time. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Riley Birdwell, Fox 16 News.